It's incredible. And they, they are, of course, a fairly well. fresh team. And when you look at events, fresh. <laughs> when you look at events they've attended, um, oh yeah. For example, a tournament like DAC, they got so many wins per loss because of the format there. Uh, that of course they have an incredible winner, but it's still like no no matter no matter what you can take from the tournaments and that maybe the competition hasn't been the best in some of them, they've still had so really like. They've been missing a land win. Let's be honest. They won Red Bull, but mm -hmm. before that, they were missing. Like they, they really messed up at Star Ladder, where I think they got what is it? Was it bottom two even? Yes, I think yeah. that, that was really an off tournament for them, and they yeah. were renowned for being really, really good, but never really making it on land when it really mattered. And now they've had that success, and it looks like they're looking to take it further here as well. So well, we'll have to see if that's the team. case. It is a very scary team. We'll see if Evil Geniuses, though, will have the answer and pull out an upset, according to most. So with that, let's go ahead and hop into the draft. Talk about actual Dota here. Yeah. I think, um, I mean, I get a head start. Okay, we're, we're just, everybody sees it now. But the Chen Whispan, yeah. for me, is... Uh, it's the most expected in the, in this series, but you can't get rid of everything. Mm -hmm. And ah, look at that! Each, okay, so this was actually 100% expected from PPD. I, I I'm 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 gonna say like they expected the Visage first pick, and this is the opening they want to do against it. They do not want to give them drought. They just want to take it away. So Visage is now just a Visage. Now, what you normally pair with it would be a um, maybe a lichen. A lichen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I knew that one. So, ah, so good. I'm getting good. Um, but. What's what's even more interesting is like what 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 is Secret now gonna want to do overall? Like what is their draft gonna be like? Are they still gonna aim to SF? Are they still gonna aim to five man? Because I think that's the way you should actually approach the draw. And for me, like PPD's plan so far looks really good to me. You pick the dark shield together with it. It's a deny pick. It's one of Universe's uh, most renowned heroes, even though he hasn't played it for a long time and all that. But more importantly, it's a five-man hero. So if Secret are looking to five-man versus a Drow, they're making the Drow lineup even stronger now, together with the Darkseer. And, and they might be they might be looking to find a partner for Darkseer that does very well with Iron Shells, so that when Team Secret engages and want to go on the Drow, there will be one or two Iron Shells in the fight. So when you generally when you try to collapse on one hero, you tend to stack up, and that's where a vacuum into wall and multiple Iron Shells can really destroy a lineup that Secret might be planning to build here. As I was about to say, we have a guest, but then he pieced out. We right, could, a drink. we could. We'll see. They're getting enticed. They see the open spot. They see the opportunity to sit next to a very special and handsome Cinderin. I mean, who are we kidding? It's because I'm sitting here. I mean, right, let's I got be shot. honest. I got shut down. <laughs> I was trying to make him feel better about himself. So. No, no, it's, okay. it's all it's all you. So our mystery special fourth guest, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself. How's it going, my friend? Make hey, 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 it's me, going Jackie Mao. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, try okay, to change no, up your voice. Yeah, hello, everybody. This is Purge. Back again. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I have no talent for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think also, by the way, before we get back in the draft, that this is going to be a, a quick 2-0 for Secret over EG? Easy Secret game, as everyone here has agreed on, or do you think that EG are going to be putting up more of a fight? Uh, I, I could totally see Secret 2-0 in EG. Okay. And just uh, this, this format's really beneficial to EG, that they have the triple, like, they can lose actually two times in this tournament and still be fine. All right. So Fair enough. Let's yeah. get back in the action here. <laughs> but, like, um... I see Secret's draft right now. I see them being very comfortable, but kind of what you also see them having, like, uh, would usually be the Drow Visage or some, some kind of Wisp or something like this. And when they didn't have that, they actually went with the Darkseer, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, that was together with the Wisp, actually. So I, I'm just very intrigued to see what they're going to go from here. I, uh, I'm not really sure. I imagine if you pick up an early visage, there's only so many avenues you can kind of go down if you're not even going to get well, the drow. Yeah. They, they, could be storm. they might go for Broodmother, huh? I think they could go Broodmother. Uh, I think Broodmother will work uh, later on. Duxer has a really good matchup, though. Yeah, but Broodmother. He's the, like one of the best. Because the thing is, like, EG already picked their offlaner, and Team Secret, like, yeah, they, they pick second. Really. Like, so they can actually fourth pick the Broodmother. If they see it, it happening. Yeah, and it would actually it would put the Drow in a pretty awkward position, I guess. If you offlane the Brood and you want to put Darkseer against it, then either you have to mid the Drow against Shadowfiend, which is not a good matchup, or you have to run an aggressive trialing Drow, which is super risky, can work, but yeah, into it's, a Visage, that's... It's very risky. That's scary. They actually stole the Dazzle from Steam Secret. Yeah. Like, EG, like, 
they had to, they had to draft all planned out. I'm not sure what they were planning for is good because obviously it was like, oh, you know, we're gonna give them Visage, we're gonna take the draw, then we're gonna take the dazzle because we're second pick and still banning the dazzle. So they have something fought out right now. But also the the, the the deny pick dark soon. To yeah, me, that's exactly. very good. That's very yeah. good. Like all three, I mean, all three heroes are deny picks, literally, yeah. and all purple. Yeah, and they're all purple. That's a big thing. That is a big thing. So we got the new Bruno over here, thinking about colors and legs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer a player. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Secret side now, looking for the third pick. This is coming after, of course, banning out the clock. Rubik on the side of EG. Mm -hmm. Secret banning out the Storm and the Quap, anticipating a potential mid pick to come here for EG. But I'm, I'm actually so baffled that they didn't get rid of the Lycan. I think Lycan is one of the best heroes against Drow. Um, and it's obviously really good with Visage, and it would work with their plan if, you know, they are to go Brute Mother and they pick Lycan. This laning situation where uh, they have to put the Darkseer safe lane. Now heroes have to go other places. You put one or two or three heroes versus uh, Lycan Visage, I can go terribly wrong really quick. I mean, it could work if, it, if the hero's correct. Like, I'm thinking Axe, something like this, but... Not getting rid of the Lycan, I think it's a mistake, maybe. What do you think about Secret considering Coddle? For a potential trial lane, mana leak against Darkseer, blinding light That's against Drow Ranger, uh, securing that safe lane, and of course giving them the option to run two one two with say, all right. How about no alternative? Well, I think first of all, it's cool to see CM because we don't really see it picked that much, but it kind of fulfills the same purpose where they have possibility of two one two. If they want to run the safe lane, they have a really strong trial lane where Crystal Nova hits three targets, you instantly get full solo assumption, and you can get a very quick snipe. And if it doesn't happen, <laughs> you just jungle it. So to an extent. Not full type juggle, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and call something here. I'm gonna go ahead and call a core visage for secret. Oh, what for Sai? Ooh, that would be cool. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how do you know this? Huh? How do you know this? I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. How? <laughs> for what information? Tang Fu Hao. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. For some reason, I think uh, that's where my play Cosmax Invoker. Cosmax Invoker. That would actually be good. good yeah. Artie. I wonder if we'll be most likely playing the Shadow Fiend here. Yeah. But I, I haven't seen S4 play that hero, so. But I, I feel like it'll be really good this game. I can, it's really good against Darkstar and Lane, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty good against Dazzle Draw. I think like you can just burn all the Dazzle's mana, and then they're fucked. Yeah. And a Draw, they, like these heroes always come from the front. And, like they, they don't really surround you and kill you from behind. Like mm -hmm. uh, they all get smashed by Cosmax. Yeah. No, Cosmax is definitely strong. The other, the other one, you know, the classic. Dark's counter would be Nux, but we haven't actually seen much Nux play since the patch, even though I think a lot of professional players called that Nux would be a hero of this patch. Why? Why, why, why did they call that, actually? There are massive int buffs, and people look at Octarine Core and Coddle buffs and all this. Yeah, stuff. that's a silly shit, though. There's no way you look at Octarine Core, and that's like, oh. Well, it buffs the Nux, and it's good versus Octarine Core. So, I mean, I don't know. That's when I talk with people, they. That's, uh, do you hmm. think the Agnum that, Nyx is not a good item? Agnum Nyx? Yeah. No, I think it's good, but it's really cool. I think it's cool. The problem is there's still items you are, you're getting before. Yeah. Like you're getting the blink. You're most likely getting the mana boots, and then. What are you getting? Duels, Octarine Core, Aghanims, Dagon. I mean, many people would even get Dagon before Blink, and then you still want Blink after Dagon, so Octarine Core is coming late, and Ags would maybe come before, maybe after, so... And the way this patch is going, games are over before the, <laughs> the Blink is purchased after Dagon. Uh, Brew Mother! Pretty, uh, 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 EG uh, keeping that blue theme also, by the way. So yeah. That's my input. This is either now... Uh, if you want... Now this is not a core visage anymore. No. Unless if they want to put RTZ on Brood or uh, S4 on that's, Brood. That's not go no, crazy no, here. No, 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 no. no. This is side Brood. Yeah. This is one of his best heroes. This is one yeah. of the best teams with Broodmother also. Yeah. Don't you think it's a huge draft mistake that they ran co-op and set fuck when they give away Drow and then they pick Crystal Maiden? Crystal Maiden would have done really good against co-op, I think. Maybe. Uh, I am... They have no stuns of co-op. And then they yeah. give away Puck now. And Puck is actually EG's most go-to hero when they have the draw. That's yeah. not the co-op. I think they were more nervous about their lanes. If they gave away... I, I don't know. I feel like even though Puck has draw aura, it's still a much better matchup. Like, playing Shadow Fiend against co-op with draw aura is actually a nightmare. It's a bad enough matchup as it is, but at least he's Radiant, so I guess he can do the small camp, but... It's still... I think they were just nervous about the mid matchup, and they were planning all along to have Shadow Fiend come in. It's always interesting to see how teams deal with Shadow Fiend mid, though. Like, we saw Secret do Witch Bristol back against it, and 
picked together with what kind of lane pressure they had in the other two lanes, this Wisp Bristol back was like this SF was left alone yeah. versus this. And that's one way to deal with it. The other way to deal with it is just, you know, give him what he wants, let him farm his early mech. What Vichy did was that, you know, they had the, also the Wisp Tiny. And Shao Wei, you know, <coughs> had to camp there. He was camping there and they made a move and then they went a move on SF, like killed him twice. Exactly. Everybody deals with Shadow Fiend in different ways, different games, but everybody has to deal with him somehow. Yeah. What do you think about Earthshaker last pick? Never mind, Ventral Spirit. That's what I was going to say. Yep. <laughs> it was, man, Shaker, Shaker's like brownish. This yeah. Is, this, now we got the whole theme going up there. Look at that. They're just picking their logo color in their lineup. They're in uniform, so What's that? it yep. transitions That's the style points into the game. Very important. Mm -hmm. So... How they lean this is going to be actually so crucial. So yeah. Because if they have the wrong lanes, I feel like they auto lose, maybe. Yeah, I think so too. EG. Uh, I, I'm i not sure exactly what they're planning to do. I know Dazzle is one of the most decent supports against Broodmother if you're ever going to try for that lane, but Drow and Venge are really, really weak against them. So I think they're going to look to switch something up. It's a Crystal Maiden and Broodmother as well. I'm not sure how big that is. Yeah, um, it's definitely a big deal. Like uh, when you're when you're doing the soaring Midas, you're you're still wanting more mana. Like I've seen the Rave player; he bought soaring and double uh, Sobi mask to mm -hmm. try and get more mana. Because I mean, you could always use it, but um, Crystal Maiden definitely uh, the aura benefit beneficial for all of Secret Zero so far. Broom Mother being one of the better ones. Dragonite. Okay. Hmm. That stuff safe lane is pretty good against Darkstar, I guess. Yeah, it is. No, it is. This is... Uh, uh, DK destroys Puck in Dota. Yep. Yep. In Dota. <laughs> it does? <laughs> I mean, one and a half, two years ago, the um, more common matchup was Dragonite versus Puck. And the way it worked was, you know, the, at level 6, all the supports wanted to gank this lane. They, would, they wanted to gank for the Puck or they wanted to gank for the DK. Usually the team that got the gank first, if you gank for the DK, and they got the kill. They also get half a tower mm -hmm. and supports. They couldn't really do anything to stop it. But if Puck got a six first because of the matchup maybe favoring, you gank the DK, then Puck gets this early dagger, and then he's ready for the time Dragonite wants to push anywhere. So that was like a fragile matchup, and it happened all the time. Um, but now Dragonite with uh, received buffs, Puck with a draw aura though. It's going to be interesting. But I really like what Secret did though. I think they stabilized their lanes with uh, putting another hero mid and Shadow Fiend safe lane. Alright, so here we go. It's going to be our second best of three today. Team Secret, the favorites coming into this, according to everyone. And, well, Evil Genius is going to be going against them. Should be an interesting matchup here. And it looks like leading off your secret side, S4, he's going to be playing the Dragonite. That's a smoke from EG. Yeah, they're going right away. So we'll fire through this. I yeah, RTZ, Shadow Fiend, uh, Kuroki on his... Trademark Visage, we got Zai on the Broodmother, he's very, very skilled with that. And of course, Puppy on the Crystal Maiden. And they're looking to head... Oh, that wasn't the smoke. I thought they smoked up. Right oh, in Fear might be going, Fear's going mid. Oh, yeah. they're going to they're gonna crash head on here. <laughs> it's a Sumail, Puck, Fear, playing the draw. Oh. Not, they're not catching I think, anything. I think Darkstar, Darkstar Dazzle is going to be top. I think maybe Puck, Venge, bottom. Yeah. That will be uh, pretty good, actually, I think, for him. Yeah, I think it will, I think it will also be good. Um, the classic three one one. I think I feel like they would actually lose this game. Boom! All right, so they're denying the woods from the CM at the moment. Um, Jeez, that's a lot of hate. Yeah. I wonder though if um, Secret wishes. Are they gonna get the top room for Dragonite? Okay, Dragonite's not gonna be getting the bottom room, so he won't be getting his bottle quick. Sai actually gets a free room here. Oh, important to note, he's a mango by him. Oh, it's a sexy fruit from what I hear. Yeah, it's a stimulating fruit. Mm. That couch doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in, Puppy gonna be doing the early block. Puppy's going top. Puppy's gonna be helping yeah. the Broodmother top or staying around top. Probably also gonna look to get level no, two he's from the jungle. Right? Or he might just be dewarding, yeah. No, but I don't know what he's doing. He, I think he should go into the enemy jungle. Because uh, so. they have no vision of him there. So they're doing the the lanes we kind of called, although the Dazzle is bottom. Vengeful. They're trialing then, right? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Vengeful is up to, but. Okay, Dazzle Puck instead of Vengeful. I mean, this lane is way stronger. Yeah. Uh, they did not block any of the pulls, though. I feel like if uh, Secret wants to either stack the small camp or pull right now, they could. Uh-oh. 
So the Vengeful is just chasing the chasing the the CM. The two captains <laughs> hunting each other down right now. Uh, casting the other just isn't yesterday. This cute? PBD did have strong words. Uh, in. Friendly look. little magic missile. This is why I hate playing CM. Look at that. So Over slow. half mana gone. Uh, is he is he dead? No, no, no. Okay. Made it work. I mean, Vengeance is not fast either. Okay. <laughs> but this is important. I think it's it's definitely worth. What, what's the courier doing? What's, <laughs> what's happening? On its way to feed? Okay, okay, it makes it a puppy. <laughs> if they lose four couriers, holy shit, they oh. actually lost three couriers in two days. <laughs> and I heard they lost two couriers in scrims as well. Oh boy. But the, these lanes are these two lanes are amazing for EG. Yeah, they're really good. They they definitely did the move like. Crystal Maiden normally right now would be level two, would be able to help bottom, would be giving all the lanes aura. And he's not getting any of that. He made the uh, PPD also run, but it's still definitely worth it for EG. Is it good enough that we're Tigger gonna have to do something about it or they're just gonna have to try to withstand this early laning phase? Are they going to have to pull an audible, change things up a bit, move earlier? I think that all they have to do, like all they should be looking at, is to stabilize the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. If they stabilize the bottom lane, SF is going to make sure that Puck will never ever get any good farm. And if they don't get this early dagger on Puck, um, I feel like Secret are allowed to just get all the towers they wish when they, if they get a mech also on top of the SF. Oh, oh. Samuel is going to commit for this one. Nope. A little extra harassment as they bully them back in the lane. Mind Games coming in with the illusion to help. Huh? Yeah, so Poppy's gonna be pulling the lane back now by the looks of it. Uh, Artisa could raise the uh, could raise the wave. Um, but what's gonna happen regardless is uh, Darks are gonna be winning the top matchup. Like, you, you, there, there's no way around that. But I still feel like that that's not going to be enough for EG to start this game. They need this dagger on Puck at some point. If uh, Artis oh. is actually taking a lot of damage still. Uh, I was training a bit. I don't want to fight into that wave. Only two tangos left. Yeah, we saw yesterday in the IG versus Not Today matchup, Ifrit on his brood had to go toe to go against Luo in the darks here, and it was it was rough. Really rough. Mm -hmm. He opted to ban out the axe, and they let that Darkseer through, and he was punished for it. I consider it the second hardest matchup for Brood 1-1. Oh, yeah. Axe is the worst, then Darkseer is second. And I then... think uh, the worst is Bristolbag, actually. From I think that's worse. What I've seen. Yeah, yeah worse wow. than um, Axe. But uh, I, I haven't seen Darkseer enough, and I actually haven't seen that matchup in a while, so... That might, that might be the worst one. I mean, I, I, I remember that was the go-to nice. for a few years ago. 28 and 1 head on CS right now. But it's all deceptive. It is. Spiderlings. Little little bits of gold that are handed over. It's an Invis Vengeful. This is a game breaking make? rune. Oh, he's going to walk right gonna into find puppy. puppy at half life about boots. already. Casual body block. Why am I being stopped? <laughs> puck, hello, Puck. Uh, puck tank. Can't, puck can't get there. He's stuck. Oh man. Uh, yeah, they're a little too far uh, down the lane, but they're going to commit Magic Missile and the heal is just enough. It's going to be Owie. Picks up your first blood, taking down Puppy. Yeah. yeah this landing stage for EG is, is looking really, really good. There's The problem that Secret has with their draft is that CM and Visage are not the best heroes at rotating early either. So they're kind of stuck in this situation for a while until CM comes more online. He's currently level 3. He went 0-1-2 uh, build. I'm actually... Look at what's happening mid. No, if... What do you think? Do you think that was the right build to max out the aura? It looks to me like he's just going to jungle a bit more and not try to salvage the bot lane, but I feel like they have to try to redirect something and try to fight the bot lane, else they're just losing all three lanes. I, I think, think, think that would gank mid, actually. No, they should just be spam pulling bottom, in my opinion. If they spam pull bottom, this SF is going to start eating this lane alive. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So, there's no point for them to gank mid, even though I don't know what's happening there. Like 35 and 10. Oh, the dragon uh -oh. form is being used though. He's committing for it here. He might get the fire breath out. Oh, Will he oh, get he's it? Dead. Oh, it. he's oh. dead, I think. I think he's dead. Yeah. Yep. That's really big. That's, That's huge. So big. That is so huge. Like, look at the CS. This draw has denied 10 creeps, and like, he was way ahead of the Dragonite. Was that the corrosive breath lethal? He just added as well to the patch. Ooh. Yep. I'd like to see that. 
Thank you, Ice Frog. Yeah. Like, at, at the, <laughs> like at the game, the, the way this game was going, like at one point, EG like eight minutes in, we'll just push mid, and Dark Star will stand, will stay top. Then Dark Star will TP mid one mech. Yeah. And they would just get two towers right away. Yeah. No, I don't know. If they, they still might go for it. Like they're still farming really well. So what can Secret do to stop this? For me, it's still like getting the mech on the SF and denying Pock the dagger, and that's how you do it. you do it through stabilizing the safe lane. Oh, that's an illusion on yeah, Dragonite. On that's yeah, nice. He's in trouble. Oh, he gets the breath on turn back. Grave is gonna last long there. Oh, I don't know if it's long enough. Oh, it's not. It's long enough. Die. Yeah. No, wait. What? No, that was the breath. The breath doesn't deal damage. Oh, I was. Oh, sorry. I misread the yeah. the icon. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. What's oh, happening wow. here? What's be, happening? This is so big. Nuke? No way! Oh uh, my god! Ten life? Unbelievable. He's gonna walk away. He would have actually had that kill if he had skilled 4-3 instead of 3-4 on Brood. This is... Is this normal? To max webs first? It's not that uncommon. Like, I... When I did my Brood session in my pubs, I, <laughs> I like to do it. Um, but... I mean, obviously he regrets it now. He does regret yeah. it now, I think. Although, I don't know if he would have had that last web for the movement speed to yeah, get that new question. Oh, 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 oh that's, that's, that's was not a jump you want to do. I think he, they, they will get him here. Yeah, yeah. force hold or something, just a boom. Maybe it's, it's not enough, though. Assumption still able to bottle up with what's left here. And he goes into the safe arms of PPD. That was close. Yeah. He's going to be really happy he got away from that after that misplay. Good job staying composed, though. But yeah, now we're, we're reaching the stage when when Shadowfiend is going to start making a comeback. He got shut down in lane. He's currently only 31 CS at minutes. Oh, look at this. Pretty low, but oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> moving in. Uh-oh, Fear getting surrounded. Your Drow Ranger going to get nipped in the butt right there from Zai. And they just turned their attention onto the tower now with the Dragon form. But Zai's also pretty weak, and Sumail shows up, farms up some of these sweet little broodlings, and... Top tower taking damage for secret though, but I still feel like this move from uh, yeah, that's that's actually no good. The, bro the move from Sai was good in its own, but overall, I don't know if it's worth it. And th this is where Darkseer has an advantage against Brute that Axe doesn't. Is his ability to push and just cut the wave if he wants to. Axe does it with way larger risk than Darkseer does. He can always just surge away. And if you look at Secret's lineup, their ability to gank this Darkseer is actually very limited. They don't have a single stun among their supports. They have Frostbite only. And if he can force that out first, he's basically almost immune to ganks, unless the Dragon Knight ports in with ult on, and then Already then, it's a big investment for Secret to try for a kill that's not even guaranteed. And Universe can just play with so much confidence up here. This actually, you see, he takes the tower. He doesn't even care. This is where a lot of the time you will see Axe maybe pull back a little bit because he can get ganked. But the, all all this stuff that happened top though, this might not normally be be realistic without the CM aura. Yeah. Like he is actually being able to nuke this dark shit down and kind of forcing him out of the lane. Looking and at the net still worth, got the tower. <laughs> looking at the network, the room monitor is actually even with the dark here. This game is looking off for it. Pretty easy. Yeah, it, it's not looking that good. That, that that second death on fear might have actually been way too good uh, for Secret. And once this visage got six, the top lane is gone. Yeah. They're waiting patiently down there for now. That's a mech. But I think. They should, yeah. like, they're not gonna get any new items in a while, so, like, if they don't make the move now, it's not gonna, the game's not gonna get any better for them, I feel. Like, for EG. EG heroes can't really make any moves except push right now. Or he go actually, for a smoke gank right now. He actually went treads now. On Brute. I haven't seen that more than once, I think. If even once. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So when do you think it's the better choice? Like, I'm just thinking, if you want to cover the area more, it's generally because you're playing against, say, a trial lane where you can benefit from having more webs, but he mainly played a one-on-one, -on -one, so I feel like in most of those cases, you tend to max the nuke just for the better pressure. It's that, but, like, look at what he did this game. He wanted to move mid with the Brood Mother, yeah. so he's doing this without sacrificing any webs. Um, he's one of the, the Brood Mother players that does that the most, rotating early into the mid lane, so... The four points in the web is probably yeah, you can't do that much better for that. Yeah, that's true. I think Z did the same thing, or Lul. I remember, I remember, I remember pointing out to you at one point. Mm -hmm. It's actually getting pretty common. This bone is just behind the times. He's sitting right next to me, actually. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the Invis room maybe coming into play here. They're looking for Universe. Double Invis, double trouble. I don't Universe looks like he knows actually. what's up, though. Can they? 
Oh, they if would kill him, I think, if, if they would health? get the stun. Yeah, if he has full, oh. if he doesn't have full health. This is so big. This oh. actually might be game. Like, it's actually so game with breaking. Oh man, I don't know. Pops his mech. He'll try to surge. There's the new, is... new comics. Oh, oh. 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 no wave. Ah. <sighs> That was a really nice body block, though. He wanted to just run away first, but... Two TPs came in. That's so huge. Look at what ha what's happening bottom now at the same time. They do catch our TC mid with a stun. DK TPs in. They gotta get the hell back. There, oh, Raze is there, but... Oh! That was just a light torch on the on the uh, Did they catch right a Broom Mother top? No, Broom Mother's just toying with him, but... Secret are pushing all over the map. Are, he's actually gonna kill the... Uh oh, Grave is, is he gonna save? get him? He's looking to run Zai is in hot pursuit here. He just gotta pop him off right here, but he doesn't have much mana to work he with. He has the Soul Ring nuke. Let's see what happens. Oh, he has to watch out. Uh oh. He has oh, another nice. web. Oh, he's healed up. He's not gonna go for it, I think. Okay, New University is bottom, but that's still another tower loss. Wow. That went from 0 to 60 pretty damn fast. <laughs> all of a sudden it broke out and everyone's looking to push all over the place and get what they can with what they got. I'm not sure how EG looks to come back from here. This game is looking super hard at this point. Like, even something like Sneaky and Roshan wouldn't be too good because there's just too much pressure in all the lanes. Yeah. What do you think when we get to... So most of the time when we see Drow picked, we talk about how you try to build the lineup around using the aura to start taking towers and fighting in the mid game. Do you feel like... Do you feel like they have what it takes when there's a brood against them to actually make those plays? Because they more or less have to... Sorry, we're what uh, the hell is going on? we're torturing people in the kitchen as well at the same time. <laughs> what? If you lose this tournament, we take you and pull your teeth out of the kitchen. So they I have to. Yeah, we lost. Like they, they will probably whenever EG will want to push the brute threat is gonna. They have like very small timing windows, right? Until they have to pull back the dark seer. So do you think they can even get into that state of play that you're looking for, say minute 20, 25 with the drow? Do you think they will? Uh, I think it's over push down the lane? for sure at 25 minutes. I think right now it's gonna be over in a minute from now if they don't do something. <laughs> okay. Like they, they need to smoke us four on the other heroes, and Darkstar has to stay top, and then once they get the kill, Darkstar has to TP to the lane where to get the kill, and they need to push that tower down, because I don't see any other move they can make right now. And that's the problem. So yeah. all the moves they make are so obvious. Secret are now smoking with the Shadowblade DK. Actually invest the form. Are they actually going to catch Femel? They know it. Oh, oh, oh. That range, man. And yeah, they make quick work. No chance for him to even respond. Rotation comes in from Universe. Oh, he gets frozen immediately, and he'll have to walk away. They get off the weave here, but they're trying to follow up, vacuum back. Oh, Requiem flies, but... Requiem flies, that's a good Requiem still. They can't fight into this now. Yeah, Requiem's been used. Buyback back from Puck, oh no. Uh oh. He's the only guy, yeah, I don't think he has a dagger. Oh wow, Puppy looking to high, freezing field, they end up trading each other. 2YL gets stunned again, he's gonna go down again! Oh my, that's a die back there, not good! Secret looking to take control. Jackie seems to be right, this could be over <laughs> quicker than it started. Well, let's go back to what Envy said in the beginning of the game. Dragonite counters Puck, or Dragonite eats Puck, whatever it was, that was just... Uh. That was just... Yeah. Double Dragon Tail versus Puck. What can you do? Dragon's a bit more scary than a fairy, I have to say, so... Well, he's a dragon fairy, isn't he? Puck? Fairy dragon? Fairy dragon. Fairy dragon? Dragon. Isn't that what... Fairy dragon. Fairy dragon. Fairy dragon. Dragon fairy. If you fairy. get fairy in the name, I don't think you're going to be as, you know, masculine <laughs> as a dragon, dragon knight. Fairy. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually going BKB. I wonder if that's the, the right item choice. I, I, I don't agree with that. I think, I think I you think go Dagon for the nice. Yeah, I think you go for the Dagon versus Drow. I mean, personally, that's that's how I I would hate to play Drow. But like you know, like Zai is one of those players that like he wants to win with the worst item decision <laughs> because that way he grants them like after, like one time his team asked him why he bought a shitty items on Crystal Minion instead of a BKB, and he said, um, "I'd rather win with shit items than win with good <laughs> items." <laughs> like I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's actually not that. When I'm looking at... Oh, wait a second. Oh. Okay. Boom. Storm in the front gate. Soon mail. Forces to jump back behind. They just easily 180. Get him down. Drops the coil before he goes here, but... Big vacuum. Not enough to be able to follow up with anything. Secret's going to take over. Universe on his last legs will be able to TP away. Nope. Not happening. Gets burnt up. PPD goes down after. Hey, soon S4. S4 is going on a tear here. Gonna get denied the ultra though. Oh man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he walks back. Nine oh, sticks though. The RNG. Man. Come on, don't you push epic. it down? That was actually Lane. way too that was a Game of chicken yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah. How did Puppy skill? 
after level three. Oh, no, All right, he's maxing new. Nova. Do you yeah, think yeah. that's the best build most times? Yeah, on CM now? Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I believe. I believe that. So Darkshire gets the tower first on the top lane, but now it transpired and the Broodmother just getting two towers with a bit of help from the Dragonite. Hmm. It's generally how they play it. They help him out at one point and then he just takes over the, that part of the map. It's EG still only have one hero that can do anything to the Broodmother. Puck tends to be really good if he gets the dagger timing uh, early, but... I actually don't know what Puck's net worth is right now, but he is having a really hard time getting into this game. Yeah, he's only halfway to the dagger. It doesn't matter when Brute has BKB now, I guess. Yeah, but uh, he can still deal with the lane and push it out. But now the towers are I gone, so Brute Mother... I mean, he did his job, but now he... This is now Zai's jungle. This is Zai's jungle. Secrets still have their own jungle, if you look at the map. They're farming their own, mm -hmm. farming the enemy. <laughs> EG are camping their ancients, looking for smoke, I think. They already did it. Yes. They already did it. They want to finish what they started. Spiderling though, inside Rush Pits, oh. they, and leaving no room for EG to make any moves. And you see uh, RTC drawing on the map. They know exactly what's up. They already farmed their jungle. Now they're leaving it and oh, man. grouping up. Solid play, solid decision making. EGs have no clue running around. Like I guess we'll just... Make do with this. Are they going to make the smoke into the Roche pit though? I think they're going to make that decision. Roche going to die before they get there. Yeah. But I still oh, think the secret will eat them alive now. Yeah. Oh, they're turning over. They're coming in. Looks like it might be too late. The Roche will go down and be snagged up, but they're probably going to still want a box here. Weave goes out. Preemptive measure for EG, but... It's still secret way in ahead. Oh, Requiem, Utility, but, oh, Requiem vacuum wall there. Sumail has to hightail it out with the gray. Fear's gonna end up going down, but does have that Aegis. Zai just chasing out, takes out the backline support of Aoi. Fear's in trouble. Welcome back with a stun. The soul of subject combo. He can't do anything with his second life. He's on the way out. Sumail says, I gotta get the hell out of here. And even though they got that Roche, it's still secret's game. GG. They'll now go down the mid lane and. We're done. I was wrong minutes. before 20 minutes, so from our pre-show earlier today, I didn't think that there would be any game before 20 today, but looks like I am wrong. Secret, take game one pretty damn fast. Well, they couldn't have ended it before 20. They would, If EG stayed in the game, they wouldn't have made it. So you get you get a benefit of the doubt point. The only team that can't deal properly is uh, Fnatic. Fnatic, no tails. The team. one? <laughs> the only team that, like... Like, if the game doesn't want to be ended by 20 minutes, like, you can pull it off. You can still let it end by 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my... F oh, my God. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me of this. Thank you. Oh, no my problem. God. Okay, so you play against the Lions. You knock them out.